No free will. Now, when you appeared on this program mm -hmm. last time, two quotations, both Tom Wolf. I asked you, are you persuaded by this science that we're all in effect mm -hmm. machines, no free will, no moral capacity? And Tom Wolf replied, quote, I'm afraid that the science is true, close quote. Tom Wolf, in an interview earlier this year, quote, the genetic theorists know in their hearts that their reasoning is bogus. Would you please explain the development in your thinking, Mr. I Wolf? Made a, I made a, when I wrote, the, sorry, but your but soul, your soul just, just died. died right? um, I made the mistake of, uh, which I now freely admit, of conflating, I think that's the word, neuroscience and genetic theory. Mm. Um, they have, it turns out, almost nothing to do with one another. Uh, neuroscience is a science of how the, the brain actually operates. Um, the, one of the leading figures in that science uh, today is a sp Spaniard named Jose Delgado. His father was perhaps the greatest brain physiologist of the, of the 20th century. And he says, uh, all the rest is literature. But it turns out this is what genetic theory is. The leading proponents, uh, E.O. Wilson, I mean, God bless him, he's a, he was a, a wonderful zoologist. Um, Pretty good writer, too. He's a good writer, excellent yes. writer. He knows, I doubt that he knows as much about the brain as the second year uh, neuro, uh, student in neuropsychology, a graduate student in neuropsychology. Daniel Dennett, as a philosopher at Tufts, knows, doesn't even pretend to know anything about the human brain. Uh, Richard Dawkins, the other great uh, name uh, in this area, uh, he doesn't, well, he originally taught ethology, which is the social life of animals uh, uh, at, at, at Oxford. Um, they are writing, they are writing literature. Uh, the thing they do not understand, and this is what will be, once I, if I ever get the human beast uh, written, um, they don't understand what speech is. If I may, the, the, the being who speaks, your 2006 Jefferson lecture, quote, evolution came to an end when the human beast developed speech. And you argue that Homo sapiens was at that moment replaced by Homo loquax. Right. Man speaking. Man